Hey, everybody, we're back. Let's see what kind of common shit. Shit. Eh, rare. Rare. Guard chance sucks more, sucks more. Alright, fuck it. Right. Off we go, back to the Tower of Nonsense. How could this happen? May the stars bless this battle. A good formation. I see you! Here I come. Here! Yeah! Incoming! <laughs> Total annihilation. garlic I'm on fire! This formation is a sip! Stop! I see you! Got it! We missed! Yeah! Incoming! That was easy. Coming. We're all set. I see you. Uh, yeah. Yes. We. Uh, <laughs> Take that. I hope this works. Yeah. There. Uh, uh, here. Here I go. That victory was certain. I will continue to grow even stronger.
Hmm. Incoming! Hold this for me. Not enough. Yeah. Take that! You die! That victory was certain. I see you! Yeah. Incoming! Take that! Ha. <laughs> yep. ha. Miss! Yeah. Take that! Here I go! I hold this! Yep. Ha. Yeah. Me next! Seems about right. I become even stronger! To engage. This formation's on. I see you. How's that? Yep. Huh? Ugh. There. Well fought, everyone. You stumble across a room filled with lots of comfy, fluffy beds. So fluffy. Unable to resist the temptation, you hop into bed and get some rest, feeling only slightly guilty about it. Uh oh. Though so significant time has passed, you don't feel very rested. Tracky's karma increased by one. You leave the area. Okay, so Ready to engage. Our... What of our defenses? I, I see you. you just go to increase your I see it. Incoming. Seems about right. Must be cautious. I don't know what they're hiding. The tower seems to go on and on. You should report to Madame Dronia. So that's why... I must pursue it. I'm ready whenever. What of our defenses? I see you! Yep. Incoming! I'm on your six! <laughs> oh, they've grown again.
You stand before King Alice. Welcome to the Sterntrum. I suppose I owe you an apology for the sentence's rudeness. As president, even I am not above the laws of this land. That being said, I know how to navigate legal loopholes. Sterntrum was once ruled by a witch named Furia Nerim. She showed up out of nowhere, and then vanished as suddenly she arrived. I don't know where she is now, and I don't particularly care either. Still, she had the saddest, most beautiful eyes, and she was full of mystery, mysterious charm. Though Sterntrum has fallen into ruin, its network of underground passageways have allowed me to renovate in secret. Once it's complete, I will mess up powered for Sonitrum to swear fealty to me. Oh, did you meet the so-called Grand Duchess of Sonitrum? Furfur is no duchess, but an overlord from the very bowels of hell. An evil creature who reveals her own hedonistic revels in her own hedonistic sadism. She tasked you with assassinating me, right? I don't care one way or the other, but I need you to be straight with me. Will you join my side or remain allied with the Overlord? I didn't show you this tower just so you could marvel at its beauty. I wanted you to see my power with your own eyes so that you would so that you would know who will be ruling this realm in the future. But I'll not allow you to leave here without pledging allegiance to one of us. Now, who do you choose? So you're fools after all. I wanted you all to help me find the key that is said to exist somewhere in this world. But if you're here, Tractatus de Monstrum, then the key must also be here too. Yes, I'm certain of it. You made this much easier for me. It's too late for you now. You stand before the might of an immortal being. Now die. You're worthless. I have, I have, I have pre- I, I, I need a little pa pa power Why <laughs> are you getting handsy with me? Wonderful! Here I go! I know, but got it! Take that! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Of course, we could just have. Look at me, I'm gonna attack the entire party because I can. Whoa! Oh, and with me, I get yeah. multiple turns as well. Here, I hope this works. I see it. Yes! Take that! I'm on your.
good for there. An opening. <laughs> Stay with us. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Incoming! I see. Please wait. I'm. We're up. Here I go. A no. Here. Hang in there. Stay with us. <laughs> I'm on your six. So here I go. There, incoming. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that won't work on me. There. Please wait. Yeah. Me next. That victory was certain. <laughs> you hear King Alice's laughter as he slowly rises to his feet. I'm an immortal being, remember? My fight's only just begun. At that moment, a sinister blue light begins to shine from your belongings. The Joker card you've been carrying suddenly flies out and attaches itself to Alice. Huh? What's this? What the? A Joker card? How? <laughs> From the waist down, Alice's body becomes a hideous chimera of flesh flies and maggots. My body, what have you done? How could you? You tricked me. I can't live on. Not when I look like this. Ah! Alice stares contemptuously at you and then vanishes. Where Alice once stood, the Vorpal Cane now lies on the ground. You obtained the Vorpal Cane. Seems like a good time to report to Madame Dronia if you leave the area. You reveal the true form of King Alice. Odorous Alice's Petticoat. Blarg. You... How up. humiliating! Yes. Yes it is. Get some health back. Fight! Ah, look there! An opening! Incoming! Here I come! Here! Here! Uh. Uh. Weak! Weak! Uh. <laughs> I hope this works. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 So now that we have the Vorpal Cane, we I become even stronger. Technically, go and try to fight Fur Fur. This will help us fight. I feel disgraced. Marietta moves quietly through the caravan, taking slow, cautious steps as he approaches Tracty and picks it up. <laughs> A momentary anguish flashes across Marietta's face, as if she was struggling with some terrible burden before she flees the sea. Hmm? Marietta stares as starts a small contained fire, then places Tracty in the flames and watches it burn. Wait, wait, ah! Good morning, Madame Dronia. Turn your response from upstairs. Ah, Baltini. I'm on my way down. 
Due to a lack of hard evidence, no charges were filed against the baker's daughter yesterday. Well, of course. Witnesses may have seen her face, but she herself is innocent. However, she caused a scene and claimed she was a victim of witchcraft, then tried to flee town last night. Hear ye, hear ye! Announcing the latest death notice! Maylee Dory of 6th Street has passed away! It seems an unclean one found her. Mm. <laughs> Hmm. Why do you look so surprised, Neldo? All done cleaning outside, Madam Junior. We gotta start setting up the puppet show. The moment Luca sees Jeronia has returned to her original form, she starts weeping uncontrollably. <laughs> Madam Junior! Madam Junior! <laughs> hey! What do you want? Darnia touches her face. Oh, I see. Well, this is interesting. <laughs> the unclean ones can dispel all magic, even the effects of transmutation. That's all. Wait, you knew about this? <laughs> of course. And since I got a kick out of your new look, I had no intention of ever telling you. Tracti's not here. Where is it? Luca, where did you put it? Huh? I don't know. I always put it on the table. Hmm. Neldo, do you have something to do with this? No way. Tracti is like a fellow warrior to me. While you do whatever it is witches do, we're underground risking our lives. You can't understand the bond we share. <laughs> You're a real pain in the ass. But if it wasn't you, then who could have stolen the Tractatus de Monstrum? Not an ordinary human. Want me to sniff him out? Huh? Aren't you an owl? I didn't know owls have good noses. <laughs> of course you didn't know, because I never told you. Just so we're clear, I may look like a Tannis owl, but the similarities end there, so don't lump us together. Also, you might want to think about taking a bath, Dronia. What? You reek. This whole situation is annoying. But I need his help if I'm to recover the Tractatus de Monstrum. So, what do you think? I think we should start our search outside. Uh, very well, then. Their search for the Tractatus the Monster leads them to a smoldering campfire where they find the charred remains of the missing book. Ah! Tracti! Tracti! Wh what is the meaning of this? <laughs> huh? You, uh... You guys making a campfire or something? You do this, Shepard! Tony raises her hand and her eyes glow an eerie crimson. Who's responsible for this, Newt? You? An accomplice? Tell me! Uh, hey! What are you doing? Stop it! Uh, uh, what? Tell me everything you know! I... I couldn't see who it was. Some woman wearing a robe. She... she burned the book here. Huh? What kind of robe? A shepherd's robe? Do you know this woman? Tell me. Tell me everything you remember. The crimson glow in Jeronia's eyes burns brighter. Oh! Oh! 
Who burned the book? What did she look like? Tell me! You will remember! Dronia's steely, glowing gaze remains fixed on Newt. Hey! Dronia! As Newt convulses, he starts to foam with the mouth. Chambers, wait! Re return the one! Complete the mission! Forget not the power of the false eye! What was that? What are you talking about? Newt falls to the ground unconscious. Hey! That's enough! B but if he didn't do it, then who did? Fiona, maybe. No, no, not her. Right now, all we know for certain is that we can't restore the Tractatus de Monstrum. to the dusk of Tannis. My, my, long time no see. Remember me? You got burnt to a crisp. But it's okay. You have a great master. I'm sure the Tractatus de Monstrum is being repaired as we speak. It may be a magic book, but repairing its physical form isn't that difficult. Basically, Jonia is waiting for your soul to return to the book. You can return soon, but your soul has been separated from Tracti. I need you to dive into it again. Hmm? Where are you? Who am I? Do you really want to know? Yeah? I have so much I want to tell you, but I can't. It's just not the right time. I'm sorry. However, I'll tell you one thing. Pay close attention to everything that happens in every world you visit. Take in everything you see and hear, and let those memories become part of you. I don't want you to record them in the Tractatus de Monstrum. I want you to commit those memories to your soul. This is all I ask of you. Please, fulfill my small selfish request. Anyway, that's enough chit-chat. I hope I can see you again. Until next time, Tracti! 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 Can you hear me? Please, say something! Tracti! <gasps> hmm. Looks like it's awake. Yay! Tracti's okay! I'm so happy! I guess you get to keep your head after all, Dronia. <sighs> what are you talking about? I risk my neck enough as it is. Still, we don't know who did this. And whoever it was, they took the other key too. You were nearly incinerated. Continue exploring to solve this mystery. <clears throat> this is the story of a terrible demon who lived in the forest. Once upon a time, there were two brothers who were slaves to a greedy demon. The demon forced them to do hard, grueling work. It could have used its magic to easily finish the work, but the demon enjoyed making the brothers suffer. 
The brothers knew that one day, the demon would kill them. The brothers set fire to a house where the demon's precious son lived. They planned to use the blaze to lure the furious demon and push it down the well. When the demon saw the burning house, he quickly leapt inside. And the demon never came back out. Happiness had finally come to the brothers. They lived the rest of their days in peace. Or did they? The demon said, Idiots! Do you think you can kill me with fire? But the demon did not die. Humans cannot defeat evil. The demon said, I'm through with you both! I'm gonna eat your bodies and souls! The boy's bones went crunch, crunch. The demon's lips went smack, smack. The poor brothers were eaten by the demon. The forest trembled as the demon's roars echoed through the night. And so ends this story of a terrible demon who lived in the forest. The End That was a great puppet show, Madame Tronia! Luca, hurry up and get ready. We're heading out for a while. Huh? We are? Is that safe? Do I look scared to go out? We're just going outside town. Come along. Y yes Off in the distance sends a peculiar looking hut. You see that hut over there? I didn't think she'd come in such an eyesore. Huh? Hey! I know that hut! Madame Baba lives there! How did her hut get here? Did it walk? Yes, actually. Beneath that vile hut is a set of giant chicken legs that it uses to walk. Though, I suppose it's not going anywhere now. Luca begins walking toward the hut when Gronia stops her. Wait, Luca. Stand back. Gronia begins moving her finger through the air as if drawing a symbol on some unseen canvas. Oh, thief ward, ever vigilant. Thy master hast finally returned, and now thy watch has ended. For a moment, reality seems to fold in on itself before shattering in a dizzling display of light and wind. Wow! W what did you do? Did you break a spell? That's right, I disarmed a trap. If you had triggered it, it would have transformed you into a spider. It's a powerful trap, courtesy of Baba herself. But with her gone, the trap is not nearly as effective. Y you're gonna get in trouble, Madame Dronia. If Madame Baba finds us, she'll punish us. <laughs> Wait here. If anything happens, just shout real loud. Got it? Still, if Baba placed a trap this far from her hut, I guess she didn't care who got caught in it. Georgia keeps her guard up as she approaches the hut alone. So, is Balti was Baltini a thief then? Huh. <laughs> hey, Baltini! I know you're here! Come out! <sighs> Fine. If you don't come out, I'll burn this hut to the ground. Baltini the third descends from the ceiling. Smart move. I know you don't remember how I saved your life, but I still can't believe you would betray me. You... saved my life? 
I have no recollection of that. Madam Baba told me she would restore my memories in exchange for updating her on your progress. Hmm. Playing both sides, huh? Precisely. No one can restore your memories. Not even Baba. I know that for a fact. All magic has a price. I told you as much in your past life. Not that I expect you to remember. Anyway, I've settled my score with Baba. She's gone now. I understand. I will not hold this betrayal against you, as long as you obey me from now on. I want you to continue to serve me. I think that arrangement would be in everyone's best interest. I think it would please Isara, too. Wherever she is. Isara? A twang of sadness flashes across Dronia's face, but she quickly regains her composure. Well, I'm ready to put your betrayal behind me. Unless you've been feeding me false information. Of course not. Then I'd like to administer a little test, Baltini the Third. Darnia's eyes glow in eerie crimson. I have not reported any false <clears throat> information. I have only reported the truth. Understood. Then let's search the hut. Tornia makes her way to the back of the hut and begins searching. It's not here. Or here. Damn it! Where did she hide the key she took from me? Maybe Madame Baba had it with her. That's not possible. I searched her body. Maybe she gave it to Funa. Or one of her other apprentices? Who would she even trust? <laughs> None of them. Darnia continues her search. Even after searching every drawer, cupboard, and closet, scouring every nook and cranny, Darnia still could not find the key. Damn it! I can't find it! At that moment, a magic message slips through the crack of the front door. Madame Tronia. Huh? Darnia looks back at the floating message and plucks it out of the air. The message bears fond sig insignia and is explicitly addressed to Baba Yaga. Funa? What does it say? Funa. Madam Baba Yaga, I have contacted all 24 witches. The first to arrive will be there in seven days. In ten days, the witches will be assembled outside of Refrain. When the second key is found, I will dismiss Dronia and take the Tractatus de Monstrum. I await your further orders. What the hell is this? This is bad. Really bad. Even with Baba gone, if they all come to refrain, it's going to ruin everything. Should I ambush them? Uh, take them out one at a time? No. Once the first arrive, they'll all know about Baba's death. And they'll slowly torture me to death as revenge for killing her. I can't fight them on my own! M Madam Dronia! Dronia stumbles as she leads Baba's hut. Madam Dronia! Are, are you okay? Seeing Dronia stumble, Luca runs over to try to help her to her feet. Madam Dronia, you're gonna get in trouble for going in there without permission. You will! The key wasn't in there. Uh, maybe we can get by with just the one. No, it's too dangerous. First things first, I need to find the other key. If I find the last one within seven days, I'll have two keys. From there, I can try to find the key Baba took from me. Huh? Two keys? If Madam Baba has one, and Tracti's gotta find the second one, that doesn't add up. Won't you still be missing a key? I've had the other key since before we arrived here. Well, technically I hid it somewhere, so I don't have it at the moment. <sighs> M Madam Dronia? Um, um... I never asked you, but with the three keys, with the power 
to grant any wish. What are you gonna wish for, Madame Junia? Uh, are you gonna heal your leg? <sighs> the power to grant any wish, eh? <laughs> that power couldn't possibly exist. It's just a fairy tale. You always have me, Madame Junia. I'll be your leg. I'll help you with everything. I will help you, so just give the keys back to Madame Baba and let's go back home. Back to our house on the hill in Meerut, please. <laughs> you mean surrender the keys to Baba and give up? Don't be ridiculous. And why would I take care of a little snot like you? I intend to return to the kingdom and resume my duties as a court witch. Don't get used to us living together. Once I find all the keys and achieve my goal, you and I go our separate ways. <gasps> you, you're right. <laughs> Sorry, I got ahead of myself. <laughs> Anyway, we don't have much time until the other witches come. There's a ritual I need to perform before I can recover the key I hid. We need to begin preparations right away. Tracti, I need you to get the items we need for the ritual. Time is of the essence, so be quick about it. Johnny ordered Tracti to go underground and bring back a magic cane and sweet syrup. Find sweet syrup and a magical cane for Dronia's ritual. Aromatic incense. Oh, actually, I need aromatic incense. A super cleaver. Oh, that's actually a. Yeah. Golden Sap. Does it need the antique hourglass? Oh, we need golden garlic. Sheep haunch. So I'm craving mutton, but I don't want to eat the shepherd's sheep. I'm going to move for wild, violent mutton. Huh. Deep within the cap and the oh.
Yeah, I think there's supposed to be a hole somewhere. There's a hole or something somewhere in the Temple of Wings you're supposed to be able to fall down. Oh, there's that door there I haven't gone in. Ready to engage. Uh. Hold this formation, okay? Yeah. An opening. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Well, I didn't find an anti chamber yeah. anywhere. <laughs> right. Yeah. Here I come. Take that. Yeah. There. Huh. Yeah. Me next. I'm on your six. Opening. That victory was certain. Is this what they call leveling up? Time to fight. A good formation. There! An opening! Incoming. A stirring victory.
Incoming! <sighs> Looks right to me. Here I go! All right! An opening! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Total annihilation. Ready to engage. <sighs> Looks right to me. Got it. I'm all ready. Yes! Disloyal Arcana. That yes. victory was certain. Serpent. Oh no, I... Time to fight. What of our defenses? Huh. There. Incoming. An opening there. Yes. <laughs> Easy peasy. Coming. I approve of this formation. Deviant <laughs> I'm all ready. Incoming. You die. A stirring victory. Time to fight. This formation's on fire. Here I go. Here I go. Yeah. Hit. An opening. Yes. Since the antechamber farther back, oh, okay, that's where I. This is I. Bet yep. Curled in the darkness, you come across Maggot Alice shuddering. What? Have you returned to mock me? My presidency, my immortality. None of that matters now. Not when I look like this. It's all your fault. It's all your fault. What have I done to deserve this? Why did you do this to me? That's right, the key. You found the key, didn't you? Give it to me. No backing down. Close one. His her crown was the same. <laughs> 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 Too slow. <laughs> Donum power. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Incoming.
formation is a cinch. There! An opening! Yes! Shit! Huh. Huh. Donum power! Huh? Yeah! There! Ta! Minato? Naughty, naughty. Yep. Shit. Ha! Here I come. A stirring victory. Vorpal cane shines brightly, Alice's body begins to melt. Obtain the Punishment Pact. The former prison is nothing more than a puddle of slime now. You leave the area. So what's the Punishment Pact have? Um... Well, fuck, I... Well, it looks like I gotta go do that again. Shit. Game locked up. Oh well, time to end the video anyway.